Hey, hi, howdy, and hello, friends. It's your mayoral candidate, Wickedy, here with another experimental video on making Pelican Town actually worth something. Now, I have already turned this town into an entire tea sapling empire, and now I've set my sights on properly restoring that community center. That's right, I'm coming for you, and Louis, I'm coming for your job, too. So something that has always kind of bothered me is that after spending all of my hard work, time, and precious goodies on fixing this place up, the community center is rarely used. Since I'm literally the only one who put any effort towards the community enhancements, it's like I own the place now, right? Yeah, that, that makes total sense. So I'm setting out to turn this place into a profit for myself and see what the best options are. I have a pretty basic and sad website where I keep all my reference sheets and things, and one of the projects that I've done was remaking the villager path maps to show all of the safe spaces for all of your junk outside of the farm. And I updated it to include all marriages and the 1.5 NPC content. So of course with that, I also mapped out the completed community center to see what I can work with here. For this video, I've already laid out the paths with crystal flooring of all of the unsafe spaces or rather anywhere your personal property will be plowed right through. Anything that isn't that or anywhere I have a chest placed on the map on my site is good to go. So what is going to be the absolute best use of this space? I'm gonna try a few things to figure that out, but also maybe design a layout that will allow me to access everything too. Now, I am very excited to fill this place out with garden pots. So you can actually place garden pots inside of pretty much any building outside of the farm, and it acts as a greenhouse, which will allow you to grow any seed in any season. Well, apart from that super high maintenance agent seed, or as I like to call it, the Haley of all the crops. Placing a garden pot inside of the community center in any reachable spot will actually give you more space than the greenhouse does. I was able to place and access 221 garden pots. The only major hassle in turning this into a second greenhouse is having to water them all, because sprinklers just won't work on garden pots. But if you have gotten access to the deluxe retaining soil, you'll only ever have to water a pot once, which is awesome. Filling these with rare seeds can make a pretty profit, but I am thinking of starfruit in here and turning them all into wine. If you use the retaining soil and replanted them every time that they were ready, you'd be able to grow 1,768 starfruit over an entire year. Turn that all into wine and with the artisan profession, and you just got over 5.5 million gold in your pocket. That's halfway there to a golden clock. With wine, that makes it nearly 50,000 gold a day profit. Of course, there are other crops that you can do too, like pumpkins or red cabbage that you can turn into juice for a good profit too. If you are like me and hate replanting seeds, that finicky ancient seed unfortunately won't do here. Yeah, you think you're so special. Anyways, you can always go with my next favorite ever-bearing crop, pineapples. Once fully grown, you get a pineapple every week, giving you about 3,100 throughout the year. Turn that into wine for almost 4 million gold or jelly for almost 3 million with no replanting or money spent on new seeds. Now, if you prefer a more hands-on approach and you don't mind coming back every single day, planting hops in here and turning them all into pale ale will actually give you 9.3 million, making that pretty much the most profitable crop that you can plant here. But again, that's a much more hands-on crop and I just don't got the time. Let's test out the kegs. Again, you can fit and access 221 with my layout, but if you don't mind using a tool to move stuff around every week, you can actually fit 288 in all of the safe spaces. I'm gonna go with the more accessible layout though, and it will hold 85 more than a fully upgraded shed or 86 more than a deluxe barn. Using this as your keggery for starfruit wine will pump out almost 700,000 gold every week which will add up to over 11 million for the entire year. You still gotta grow those crops somewhere, but this bad boy will really help expand your wine business. The same layout can be used for preserve jars if you want to, if that's more your thing too. Now we move on to crystallariums. This is some great space for processing all of those diamonds or fire quartz or whatever you like. Don't tell Abigail about all the all-you-can-eat crunchy rock buffet. Good thing she never comes in here. 
Now, you can't fit in as much as you can, say, over at the quarry, but this place is out of the way and relatively left alone. And as far as I know it, Glint won't touch your stuff here either. Diamonds will pop up every five days, which you can sell for $7.50 a pop or $9.74 if you go with the gemologist profession, which if you're selling diamonds, I highly recommend. Over an entire year, these will replicate over 4,800 diamonds, and with the gemologist profession, that's a profit of just over 4.7 million, or roughly 42,000 gold a day. Okay, so let's try something else. If you just happen to have over 220 million gold, you know, just lying around. <laughs> yeah, as if. Thank you, Yoba, for mods for this. Let's fill this place up with statues of endless fortune. Oh yeah, that is a lot of goodies, and it's great for different birthdays, too. Oh, uh, what do you think you're doing, Louis? Yeah, you know what? I don't really trust him with all of my endless fortune statues. We'll just have to do something else here. And I, of course, turned this place into a slime breeding ground because, you know, why not? No slime balls because it's not an actual hutch, but it's great for getting certain drops from these slimes. And it doesn't seem to bother anyone either, which I'm not sure if I'm okay with or I'm more upset about. If you just miss Joja Mart, you can fit a bunch of Joja Cola machines in here. And of course, using the available spaces, we can really fill out and decorate the center with some themed rooms to, you know, kind of spruce the place up. I went ahead and decorated it in a way that I really like. Let me give you a quick little tour. Now, I broke down the community center into a few different areas. Of course, the fish tank, I gotta throw my legendary fish and harder to catch fish up here. Up in the entrance area, I wanted to bring in all those fossils that Gunther gives me that I do absolutely nothing with and expand out the little reading nook here. I like it a lot. Of course, there's a cozy little tea area here too. Absolutely adorable. The pantry I just filled out with a little extra pantry storage and it looks like we might have a slight rodent problem. The crafts room has been expanded just a little bit by turning it into more of a children's room crafts room. <laughs> Something to do with all of the stuffed animals that I have. The kitchen is quickly becoming one of my favorite areas. I didn't do a whole lot here, but I did add a little coffee breakfast bar. Down in the boiler room, we just have a few different various crystals on display and some craftables in case, you know, Clint decides to uh, do a little work or something here. <laughs> and last, we have the vault room where I keep all of my precious goodies here. Hopefully, Mayor Lewis keeps his hands off of my stuff, but maybe he'll be replaced eventually. In the end, it's really looking like the most profitable use of this space here is with hops, but being that that's super hands-on, next up is to either grow starfruit or turn it into an extra keggery. And of course, I've linked all of the various different layouts that I tried in the description too, so you can reference those to your liking. Let me know if you're planning on doing something with the space here and what exactly it is that you plan on doing. I'd love to know if there was another option that I didn't even think of. Oh yeah, and every like and subscribe is a vote for Wickedy for Mayor, <laughs> if only. All right, friends, I'm Wickedy. Thank you so much for hanging out in the valley with me and I will see you next time. Bye.